Okay. I think I scrambled and got everything ready in time. I was being a bit goofy, didn't set things up. Oops. Didn't have my camera set up until 10 minutes ago. Oops. Um. But yeah, we're good. I, I think. So we'll go to Big Reese first, I guess. Um. Yep. Hello. How's everybody doing today? Good? That's awesome. You di- You died? My hair is looking very flat for some reason. I washed it yesterday, so usually it doesn't look this flat until like two days. Showing off the guns? Nope. This Uniqlo tank top is just really comfortable, so that's what I wear. Probably because I was sleeping? Yeah, but it usually doesn't get this flat. Weather hot? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's rainy today? It was rainy for weeks. Where are the pillow snacks at? They're not there. They're eaten. Dude, I'm so tired of having boo-boos at the bottom of my mustache. What's going on with that? Something going on with that. Some kind of conspiracy. Yeah, it's a Uniqlo ribbed tank top. This thing's goaded. Need a better razor? That's probably what it is. Am I exfoliating? Not as much as I should be. Which is to say, almost not at all. Not allergic, are you? I don't think so. There's only one thing I know I'm allergic. Um, allergic to. I'm a pollen. That's kind of a general allergy, but like genuinely, like super, like allergic to, is is penicillin. Other than that. I think I'm all right. I am looking greasy. What is up with that? I washed my hair yesterday. I think I'm just not used to having my hair this length. It's just getting really greasy. Good to know. What? So you could poison me? That's a pretty useless allergy to be aware of. Ever tried dry shampoo? I just might if I'm keeping my hair this length. Maybe it's time to change shampoo. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> It might be water changes, maybe. Is that is that real? Is that a real thing? Japan water goaded. I didn't notice that. Do I have hard water? It's definitely harder here than I think it was there. But I wouldn't describe it as hard water, at least for America. I found American water to be generally harder, but in some places it's really hard. Here it's not so bad. Like, I don't make a face if water gets in my mouth or anything here, you know? There are definitely places where it's yucky. Florida water... I'm not sure if it's super hard or if it's just fucking swampy. I hate Florida water. Showers on Florida smell weird. I don't want to say bad, but maybe. If you live in Florida, you might know what I'm talking about. Also, I'm really fucking dry because I was in that fucking humid climate for a month. And now I am back in the fucking arid desert. And I'm dry. My throat is scratchy and dry. I don't feel sick. I'm literally just dry. My lips are more chapped than normal, which is hard to do. Talking about Orlando water. Orlando, yes, but also... I need a fucking still suit. Um, but also, like, uh, the... The Gulf. The Gulf side of Florida. Like, uh, Tampa... Like Fort Myers area.
That's most of the, the areas in Florida I've been, or in the, the Gulf Coast. I had grandparents that lived there, so I was there a lot. Someone's funding the throne again? Fuck's sake. Don't make me go look on stream. Who's being evil? Oh, the Death Leaper! Thank you for whoever's being evil. I... I thought about making them non-crown funded, the the little one. Um, the little ones that are only only forty dollars, so that you know one person can buy it and it would actually shout them out on Twitter, like by name or whatever name they supplied. But I'm not sure if y'all want that. What's a simple faction to play? Don't do that. I kind of felt like you guys wouldn't want me to. Um, a simple faction. I don't play. Firezilla, I don't play. I just collect. Though I know orcs are simple, but you need a lot of dice. I thought you did? No. Please don't government name us. Oh, it wouldn't government name you unless you asked it to. It would just be like whatever name you put in, I think sometimes it will see like the automated thing will like shout you out by name if it's not crowdfunded, you know? I've seen people, I've seen it, I've seen it. I know it's real, I've seen it. Orcs is nothing but a flood of dice. Yeah, it's cause orcs for the most part don't have a fucking psychic phase and their shooting phase is you just dumping a bucket of dice and hitting three times. So, and then you charge and then you do another bucket of dice and then you hit a lot. Fucking boo-boo. That's annoying. Oh well. It'll go away. Psst, eventually. Um. Okay. Well. Stop touching it. The natural oils in my skin are powerful. They're like acid. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just get right to it. Uh. I forgot to make another screen that I can put up while I move my chair and turn all the lights and everything on, so we're... We're gonna go here again. So, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Um, oh, I have to remember. Wait. To turn off... Wait a second. How did the microphone work last time? Oh my god, the microphone! I didn't plug it into the camera. Okay, well then I guess we're going back to fucking Big Reese. We can still hear his voice. Oh, I know. I was going to mute my mic, and then I was like, wait a second. Last time I had to mute my mic over here because there was a microphone over there. And I was like, what microphone was over there? Though? And I was like, oh, the one on top of the camera. Okay, well... That cord is stretching? Yeah, I got fucking... I got a fucking... Like... Seven or eight feet one? And it's not big enough. Seven or eight feet is not what they've cracked- what it's cracked up to be, guys. Um, I think if I could grab this... The microphone is in the bag. Aha! Did that just make another audio source? I don't know. Is that even how it works? Don't think so. I think it'll be when I swap over here. Yup. How about... How about this? Is this... Is that... Is that coming through? Kind of dark? Yeah, I haven't turned the lights on yet. Don't worry. Were those snaps coming through? Or... Hold on. Hold on. Yes, sir, but I didn't mute this other mic. Hold on.
What, what about that time? No? Feth. Okay, maybe I have to turn the camera off and then back on. Hold on. So, we're going back to here. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. I wonder... I wonder... Why... Why isn't it working? Because now I'm going to mute my mic again and go over there and see what happens. What the frick? Is the audio output in the settings? It shouldn't be. It's not in the microphone settings because it's being fed from the camera, not from anything that's plugged into the computer. Unless... Hold on. Okay, so now I'm confused. Also, chat is stuck? On stream? Is it? It looks okay to me. Why isn't this working? Help! Somebody help me, please. I'm Paul Atreides in the tent in Dune 1. It's a bit delayed when it moves? Yeah. Um, Big Reese, what's going on with this? Connor helped last time? Connor helped with the doubled audio. I didn't think I needed anything. Uh huh. Capture audio only? What? No. He turned off one source? Yeah, well, okay, so the source is in the audio mixer, right? I have the video capture device, and I have the mic. He just muted the mic so that only the video capture device was picking up sound, I think. But the video capture device isn't muted, and it, it, it isn't... It isn't picking up sound. And I didn't have to do anything special for it last time. I don't think. So now, I'm getting mad. Hmm. Gun mic doko? It's on there. I promise it's on there. Did I have to flip a switch? Oh. Oh. I I flipped something. Did anything happen? I flipped something. Did something happen? I'm s no, I'm not stupid. I thought I was on picture mode. I'm on cam video mode, I think. Guys, I figured it out. Guys, I'm next to the camera, I figured it out. I don't know if it sounds good or if you can even hear me right now, but I figured it out. Okay, so now I'm back at my desk. I actually wasn't in video mode, I was in camera mode. It sounds like the last painting streams, which means... It's fine. I didn't think that it could still display in camera mode, the point of video mode is literally only for audio. Camera mode can still be streamed. I it, that that's interesting. I didn't think it would work that way. 
That first, that first screen that you guys were looking at was camera mode, not video mode. Because you noticed it zoomed in, and, but I didn't touch anything besides the mode. Re regardless, we'll swap over. Hold on, we have to go here now. Because I gotta be careful not to knock over the tripod when I'm moving the chair across the room. Okay, painting, then I mute this mic. And then I turn on the lights. Let there be light, it might be bright, be careful. Ooh, like the sun, like the surface of the sun. One more time, is it gonna be just as bright? Not so bad that time. What's my feet? What's all this shit? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Everything's shaking. Okay. Okay. Well, here we are. Camera shake, that's okay, it'll get better. When I'm all the way in the chair. The, the space is very tight, and so I can't help but bump the table when I'm getting into the chair. Um... The door emissary. Uh, there... The, there it is. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take to assemble. It, um, it's pretty big, but it's not, it's not a model that has a ton of, like, extra stuff on it, right? Like, it's a big beast. So because it's a big beast, I think it'll just go together pretty quick. Like, Angron has a whole lot of stuff all over him, like armor and wings and a tail and a sword. Yeah. But... But... Open up. Oh, there's tape. No wonder. Our hobby blade is pretty fresh, so I'm not gonna swap it unless I experience trouble. Every time you open up something new, you gotta immediately discard the instructions and you give it a sniff. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It always smells, there's a distinctive smell of factory sealed plastic. Instruction booklet is kind of thick, so... Oh, but the pictures are giant. Okay, I was like, maybe this is gonna be more than I thought. But no, it's actually giant. And it has two ways to assemble it, I forgot. Yeah, here's the other one. They gave us a nice big instruction booklet. It can also be assembled. Let's see if this is gonna... Oh, oh. Is the Norn Annihilator, or no, it's the Assimilator instead. Which is, uh, this one's, like, melee-focused. Where the one on the box is, like, a psychic-focused. It still can melee, don't get me wrong. But the other one has, like, big psychic powers. And then this one's, like... This one's, like, a... It shoots, like, harpoons out of its chest and, like, pulls stuff in. But I think we're gonna go with the emissary. Because the, the, the emissary is, uh, is, is cool. So we're just gonna build it like on the box. Not too many sprues, which is always a good sign. It's really only three. <coughs> um, some people might count this as one. Ow, it's sharp. Um, but no, I, I think that this is two sprues. I would say it's two. They're just joined in the middle. A sprue is this. Okay. I need to remember where I should be keeping my hands. I think this is good. Regardless, we're just gonna go for it.
I was right, it is the Assimilator. The Assimilator has completely different arms, and head, and back, and tail spike. And it has extra prehensile, like, claws on its collarbone. Oh. You could put a spot on the desk grid for the camera. That's a good idea, but the... I didn't want to do that until after I knew the camera wasn't leaving. Horace, thanks for gifting. Also, everyone, thanks for the re-ups and the gifts, because uh, I saw there was a hype train while we were starting. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Major thanks for the re-up. Yippee, more hand cam? Yup. It's weird, I haven't seen too many people paint this model for some reason. Even though it's awesome. Because usually when a big new model like this comes out, everyone's like, uploading a video. Painting the new Tyranny Tyrannosaurus, the Norn Emissary, and then they build it as the Assimilator anyway, and don't mention Assimilator a single time. Um, not because they're uninformed, but just because they're not paying attention, because they're trying to crank out the content. It's all this fucking paint. Get all this paint out of here. It's all fucking... It's all fucking turned over. What? Any more 2.0s? There we go. Yep. Okay. Oh! Starting parts 1 and 2, which if you can believe it, is kind of rare in my experience. It's about a 50-50 at least. Um, maybe at most, rather on if you actually start with parts one and two. Uh, but we're just building what appears to be the right leg first, and then the left leg. If you can believe it, we're building the legs back to back. That's crazy, actually. I kind of want new nippers. These ones are fine, but if, if they were truly super sharp, they wouldn't be making that clicking sound. They would just cut. But they're fine for now. But you can definitely tell a pair of cheap nippers from Amazon from the really expensive, like, fucking Japanese nips. Folded a thousand times. Japanese nips. Um, not talking about Chikubi. Um, what makes for good nippers is literally just sharpness. The, the action isn't... Um, the action isn't... It's the same. You know, some of them is, are better than others, but the action doesn't matter as much as the sharpness of the blade. Did I get any of them while I was in Japan? No, because there isn't much point. Um, they're the same models. Um, almost none of them even had a Japanese box that would be, like, cool to keep, you know, where the writing was in Japanese. Only the starter sets had one of those. Which, uh, kind of surprising, actually. They just fucking ship all of their, all of their stuff in English. Um, and then I would have to haul it around. It was just not worth it. Gotta clean up the backs of the hooves. Because they have a yucky, yucky connection point. Is it allowed to paint the parts first, then cut and assemble later? Absolutely, though I wouldn't recommend it, because as you're seeing now, when I cut it off the sprue, it's leaving some yucky... Let's zoom in just a little. How, how much was that? Maybe a little more? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's okay. Uh, as you're seeing now, I have to clean up the backs of the hooves because they have little... little yucky connection points on them. This is good. This? Because now I feel like I'm pulling it away from my face. Maybe I just have to not do that, forehead. His kneecaps also have yucky spots. If I had sharper, um, sharper nippers, they wouldn't leave spots like this. Or at least they wouldn't leave them as badly. They would cut cleanly instead of bending the plastic at the connection point where I'd have to clean it up. It's not focused on my hand somehow. Oh. 
I could try to fix it. Oh? It loves the glue? Yeah. I think that fixed. Sometimes the back of the hobby blade is better than the front because it's for scraping. Glue sniff? This glue is, smells really strong. I wouldn't recommend sniffing this. I'm used to the smell, but my, my your room will smell like it for hours when you're assembling a mini like this. Because who the hell would reseal the cap in between needing to use it if I need to use it at least once a minute? Not me. That shit is staying open. Always dry fit. It fits good, guys. Can you believe it? The the factory machine parts fit together perfectly. That's crazy. Just gonna run the glue along the seams. It is not a very discerning process. And then you just press them bitches together. Wow, look at that. They're fucking fused together forever now. Um, and it might be hard to see on camera. And also, it's hard for me to see what the camera can see without turning all the way fucking around. The kneecap has like a white yucky spot now because of all the cutting. So if you take the glue and then run it over the top of it, it dissolves the, the edges, the, the frayed edges of plastic. And now it'll it, it it'll disappear. It'll be that'll be really hard to tell on camera just then because I'm just turning something white into something light gray. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll do that on the back of the the hoofy too. Honestly, this hoof is kind of a gap. Yuck. You might not see it. We'll see. Notification said that the Death Leaper was just funded. Yeah, isn't that epic? We love the Death Leaper. He's like, he's like the Lictor, but, um, is this even in frame? Yeah. He's like the Lictor, but, um, in a, in a trench coat and a cape, kind of. Uh, do you need the other glue with the dissolved plastic as filler? Maybe. We'll have it ready. We're going really slow. But that's alright. I'm yapping. Looking for three and four. Here's three. Where's four at? Hello? Hello? Four? Is it really on the other sprue? It must be. That's interesting. Uh, the It's funny. The Lictor had identical parts to this. But if anyone was here on the Lictor stream... This shit was minuscule. Oh. 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 This shit was minuscule on the lictor, and it's kind of... Focus on my hand, mother fricker. There we go. This shit was minuscule on the lictor, but now I can actually pick this shit up. On the lictor, this thing would have disappeared if I dropped it. I think I almost did a few times, if anyone was here and I remembered. It's funny, I was talking about nippers, and now I feel like I need them. Mine are not sharp enough. I think I need to start cutting away from the plastic, well, the model, because it's leaving too many marks, and I don't like it. Three was on the inside of the foot. Alrighty then, in it goes. Do I did I dry fit it first? No. Is that dumb? Yeah. It's alright, it fit. Where's four? Is four on this sprue then? This looks like it, but it's not. This is 48. Am I blind? Where is it? It's just another teeny claw like that. I feel like I'm, I'm not missing a sprue. 
Unless... Unless I am. How would that be possible? Huh? Because it almost looks like... No... Nah, it's fine. At least it should be. Hi, Connor. What? Where the hell is this thing? I found it. It. Why would they put it here? It. It's up here. It, it's right here. I don't know why it refuses to focus when I get close to the camera, but it's this little piece right here. For reference, the other one was way down here. All the way on the edge. Fucking goofy. How am I supposed to find it? They usually clump things together by numbers so that you can find them so that that doesn't happen because that's super frustrating and makes you feel like you're fucking missing something. <laughs> but I wasn't missing something. They just laid the sprue out a little goofy. And every time you see it go off camera, it's because I'm putting it close to my face so that I don't chop my fingers off. Please focus on my hands, you fuck. You motherfucker. Okay. Careful? I'm always careful. I, I actually haven't cut myself with the hobby blade in a while. That's what band-aids are for. Do you want to angle the camera a bit more towards you so you can hold the pieces close to your face? Nah, because they're out of the light. You won't be able to see them very well anyway. They're like way out here when I do that. It's all right. I'll just be better. Now it's time for the other leg. Yes! And I need to find fucking two of those little claw things again, and I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that. Though I see things that look like them, but they're not numbered right, so... Either it's a misprint, which happens! It definitely happens, misprints on, uh, sprues. Or rather, the instructions have things wrong compared to what the sprues actually have them labeled as. Sometimes they'll release, um, in, in like, instruction manual updates. Bruh, I chopped you. Go off. I chopped you. There you go, get chopped. I always hate flat lines like this, because every cleaning them up is always really hard. Hello, Sparky. We're assembling a dinosaur today. It might take a few hours, not kidding. It probably will, in fact, take a few hours. Yeah, I guess someone had the sprue connection point on the bottom of his foot. That's a smart place to put it. No one will ever see it. Meanwhile, three of them had it on the fucking back. Maybe no one will ever see that either. Let's be honest. I don't know. I just like when they hide these connection points. Just to assemble? Oh, yes. Sparky, th this guy's a leg is taller than a space marine. It's almost twice as tall as a space marine. You only assembled the marine? Yeah, and wasn't the one you assembled push fit? Those are really well machined. Those are really easy to put together. Oh, 
there is a th something about Tyranids where Tyranids are almost... I don't know, I think it's the same thing with, like, uh, like Geiger's Alien, where the Tyranids are almost innately, like, feminine-seeming. I don't know what it is about them. Wow, we got two legs, that's fucking crazy. And now I have to hunt for fucking Dewclaws again. I think I just found them and they're on the other screw. See? This was easy! It will be really hard to tell, but there they are. Right, right here, seven and eight, right next to each other. You see how they put them right next to each other so they were easy to pick out? Wow. Xenomorphs get the femme body with the peepee -pee head. Yeah, none of, none of the Tyranids have a very peepee -pee head, but some of them definitely have a kind of femme body. Connor, you were DMing me on Discord. What was it? Was it something... Was it something you can tell me what it is? Was it something stupid? Was it like a fucking Dune 2 meme? I bet it was a fucking Dune 2 meme. Also, I bet Connor's not even still here. Again, you can't say anything because I'm bringing the Dewclaw super close to my face so I don't shot my fingers off. Would be fucked up if he wasn't? No. I don't expect him to stay, just like he doesn't expect me to watch any of his streams when he streams. Did I just lose the other fucking claw? Where'd it go? It's right here. It is funny how tiny these are still, but compared to the ones that we did on the Lictor, they're gigantic. <clears throat> like, these claws are as big as the Lictor's head. The Lictor claws were fucking minuscule. Did we assemble and paint the Lictor in one stream? I don't remember. There's no way, right? Right? Would definitely be slicing your fingy. Um, the key, ironically, is to put pressure behind the blade with your thumb so you can get a consistent pressure so that it's not going to slip. You, you don't push the blade with your wrist, you push the blade with your, with your thumb and you just turn your wrist to give your thumb more access. Three and a half hours? Really? To do the whole thing? I guess I'm kind of goaded. Shit. Could have fooled me. Four hours? That's still really fast. I would say, anyway. Oh no. Now I've done something goofy. I didn't glue the parts. Oh, okay, I got lucky. I didn't know which was which, which one was seven and which was eight, and they look nearly identical. But this one fit into this peg instantly, so I know that's where that goes. Four hours, 12 minutes, and yes, it was one stream. Yeah, don't expect that this time, guys. This thing is going to take at least eight hours total from start to finish. Like not, not, no, not the assembly, like total <coughs> assembly and painting. I would say at least eight hours, probably 10 hours would probably be a safe estimate. Is it only the big fellas that are glue or is it just the random ones which are push fit? The ones that they do push fit are very, very specific intro kits. Literally everything else is glue. These Space Marines were glue. Uh, Lictor, uh, glue. Um, the things that are push fit are the starter kits. So they have some Assault Intercessors, they have some Incendiary guys, like Flamer Intercessors, I'll just call them. Um, they have some Age of Sigmar stuff, like uh, Cruel Boys, Storm cast, Night Haunt. Um, 40k doesn't have much push fit. It's like Space Marines, and that's kind of it. A 
11 and 12. And again, they are right next to each other, so one cannot miss them if they find one. The f that one, I'm pissed about that. I was gaslit into believing that it was either a misprinted sprue or I was missing some. Because things are always arranged by number, and then similar numbers are always clumped together, if possible. Was it really impossible to get those fucking dew claws right next to each other? It clearly wasn't, because the other ones did get right next to each other. Have I seen the Halo minis that are coming out? I don't... I don't think so. That sounds pretty cool, though. I think this... What is this? A waste? How come I have two wastes? Oh, this isn't a waste. This is a... A tailbone. A, a coccyx. Camera focusing back on glue. Get out of here, glue. Hands. Hands. Focus on hands. Okay. It wants a sniff. It really likes that green cap. It sees the really high saturation green cap and it goes, I need a bite. The glue used to really bother my nose. It's not like a super harsh chemical smell, but it is a chemical smell. It used to really bother me, but um, you get used to it. Insert, what's the reaction image you get used to it? I don't know, there's some reaction image, I'm sure. Give us a sniff, a sniff, sniff. No. Not on the glue. My brain has enough damage as it is. I'm always scared trimming and cleaning up, like, tails and things. Because these curved pieces, it tends to be really obvious if you did a shit job. We'll assume that you kind of just scrape until you don't feel the knife catching very much anymore. I don't think these plastic particles are good for my bronchioles. Oh well. Or is it brachioles? What are the things inside your lungs? I think it's brachioles, not bronchioles. What's a bronchiole? Is that something too? Both of them? They're both in your lungs? Is this the kind of hobby where you theoretically should be wearing a respirator? I would say... Generally... No. This glue... Let's read it, actually. Use in well-ventilated area. But it doesn't say... Wear a mask. Danger extremely flammable. Oh, really? Noted. Uh, yeah, just use it if, if you just don't do this in a closet. Have it be a big room, have your window open if possible, have a fan going so it doesn't fucking settle in your fucking lungs or whatever. Um, <coughs> I'm not coughing because of that. I have a cough today. I've been coughing all day for no reason. Um, and I wasn't yesterday. You got a place on your porch? Doing it outside, as long as the weather permits, is not bad, yeah. If weather permits. It doesn't always. Also, spray painting is theoretically bad in bad weather. But really, it's less about the weather being bad for you spraying the paint, and more about the temperature of the can before you start. So what I've heard, though I've not had to do this myself, is that if, um... If you're, like, living in, like, fucking, you know... Alberta, and you have to spray paint a mini, but it's a fucking snowstorm, you put your fucking can of spray paint in, um, in warm water. Like, let the bottom of the can soak in warm water for a while until it's not super cold. And then, um, 
and then it should behave for you. I think this big models like this start to come together real quick. Like real fast we'll suddenly start looking like we have a whole fucking Tyrannosaurus. Alrighty, so this goes like this. That's interesting. These these things are machined so well. It's actually crazy. I'm always surprised. The newer the kits get, the more well machined they are. Alberta is a random example to pick. Um, we were talking about dinosaurs earlier in the day. It made me think of the Albertosaur, which I've learned semi-recently is named that because it was discovered in Alberta. And the Alberta driver's license has an Al uh, Albertosaur on it. Is that a tail? Yeah, it's the tail. It's the tail. Oh, that's interesting. What side is the top of this? It looks like this? This? This way. Again, I was really unsure which way this slots into here. Um But it only it literally only goes in one way. It's, they, they've machined it so it only fits perfectly a single way. Because these things are machined super well. That's why you pay the big bucks for the Games Workshop minis. Yeah, you're paying a zillion dollars for what is effectively fucking three dollars of plastic, if that. But they've been doing this a long time. They've been doing this a long time. This is a weird connection, so we're going to hold it for a minute here. There we go. 15 now. We're literally just counting up. This is That's really rare. That is really rare. Maybe it's because this is just one miniature on a sprue instead of being like a squad. Whereas a squad, all the pieces are all over the fucking place because of how much they have to fit. Uh, similar things. Whereas this guy is just like, oh yeah, this fucking big old bitch. He got kind of a long tail on him. That's fun. Kind of makes a scratchy sound. Almost nails on a chalkboard, but not quite. Interesting that part of the tail is hollow. The whole guy's hollow, really, once you put him together. The legs are hollow. The tail's hollow. It's all just to save on weight and fucking... Fucking... Plastic. Not a huge fan of that sound? Oh well, get used to it, because we're going to be hearing a whole lot of it. I'm being summoned, good stream. Thanks, Sparky. Sparky's my friend, guys. I've known Sparky a really long time. And he's getting... He's attempting to get into Warhammer recently, like very recently like, the past few days recently. And then they should, once I find the position, click together. Wow, that's crazy, actually. That was one of the most well-machined joins I've had of these. That was really... Wow. That was crazy. It, it actually clicked. I'm not sure if you guys could hear it, but it actually clicked into place. That doesn't happen often with, um, with this stuff. But it has a bad seam because of it being so many pieces. So we're gonna try to get some sprue glue going on. So the trick with sprue glue, 
first you want to make sure if you're filling a small seam like this to get uh, not overload the applicating brush but also the trick is once you've applied this fucking sprue glue you take the non goo glue that was hard to say and run it over the seam to smooth out the application so you use this to fill the gap and then the other one to smooth it out and ideally it'll be like it was never there it's gonna focus on that damn cap Oh, I can already see it. It's already focusing on that piece of shit. And then we take the extra thin, normal fucking plastic cement and run it over to smooth out the application. And ideally, when it's dried, it was like there was never a seam and there was never any fucking giant globs of glue everywhere. We'll see. You don't have to do that too often, I'll be honest. You don't often have to use like sprue glue and also not so much that you have to like because usually the seams are in really non-obvious places but if they can't help it then they can't help it oh there's fucking bad on the bottom and i missed it fucking green cat motherfucker taking my fucking spotlight fucking hate him he's such a fucking camera hog motherfucker fucking tamia extra thin thinks he's better than me. Piece of shit. You can tell I'm pretty, I'm very secure, you know. No insecurities here. Not fighting with glue, never. I laid it on a bit thick, so I gotta make sure we really spread this shit out. Or else it's gonna be obvious. And we can't have that. This is the bottom of the tail, so I'm not as worried. But also, I do want to make sure that it's pretty good, at least. Also, once primer and stuff go on, it'll um, obfuscate some of the the tackiness of the, the, the fucking scene. Cause the plastic cement, what it does is it like, like chemically fuses the plastic together. Cause it like reacts on connection point with the, with the, the plastic. So like if you get it on your skin, it's fine, but like it, it melts plastic when it touches it. And so that's how it fuses things together. There we go. Now we're in focus again. It looks a lot better, but we'll find out when it dries. Primer will also help. Okay, we're almost done with the first page. Can you believe that? It looks like there are Five, they're calling it five steps, but it's definitely like five assemblies. You have the legs and the tail, and then they connect to the torso. Oh, interesting. We're not even gluing the legs on yet. Then the arms. And the head is last. Interesting. And then the base. He has a big old base. One hour down. It's only been one hour. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to pick up the pace because I don't care, but we are going way slow. I'm yapping. All we got are fucking two legs and a fucking tail. It's not even finished yet. The tail just needs one more piece. I wonder what the tail piece is for the assimilator. Oh, I think it's this right here. That's interesting. 
the assimilator has like a whip tail. Not that, I mean, a tail's already whip-like, but like it has an even longer tail. Some of it was tech troubleshooting? That didn't take long, did it? I didn't start until 8.05, too. But that's only five minutes. I'm surprised I made it, guys. I'm really surprised. I woke up at 7.45, and I said, oh shit, I have to set up my entire camera and stuff again. I forgot that I needed to do that. And get my BGM. Like, the fucking tripod was still in the bag in the suitcase. I brought it all the way. Can you believe that shit? I, bought the, I brought the entire setup to Japan. I, I didn't use most of it. The I just didn't need it. I'm, I, I'm not that kind of photographer. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to use that word, photographer. Do you ever take a finished mini apart and reassemble it as a different version? I guess you technically could, but at that point, you're literally breaking it. Because they stop being two pieces once they everything settles. So, like, to get the piece off, you're breaking the glue and, like, snapping the plastic at that point. Because it's not two pieces, it's one. It's like taking two thin sheets of metal that are welded down the center, but it's a thin weld, and you snap them. It's not always clean. Tail's done. Oh my god, we can turn the page. What are we doing now? The torso. That's fun. Now we got some of the really big parts. 18 and 20. We don't have the biggest parts yet, but we're almost there. They're these. So this is 20. I think. But yeah, um, some people, um, this kit I think would definitely not be able to do it, just the nature of the kit. But like, let's say, um, the big robot, if anyone knows the fucking, the Titan, the Warlord Titan, the epic scale one that I got, that guy can be assembled in a few different ways because there are different variants where he has different weapon options. People would probably magnetize that if they don't want two Titans. You would put fucking magnets probably in the elbows or the, the shoulder joints and then in the weapons so that you can just pop them off and then just paint them, paint them all. Yeah, magnets are pretty popular, but it's, they're more popular with big models than small ones. Like, technically, this fucking Stern Guard squad, I could have magnetized all of their, all of the shoulder joints in every fucking weapon option, if I wanted to. But that is so much magnetizing, and it's just not worth it, unless you're like a min-max player. Um, and I don't even play. So I just put the option on that I think looks the most fun, and then that's just what we settle with. It's also because in tournaments, the WYSIWYG rules in apply, where it's what you see is what you get. So if you have a guy who could have a plasma pistol or a bolt pistol, but you assembled him with a bolt pistol, you can't say he is a plasma pistol unless it's literally on him. So they would either have two of the model, or, which is less painting work, you would magnetize both of the arms and then swap them out. That's only in official tournaments, from what I understand. I've never played. Uh, unofficial tournaments, so it's up to the organizers. Um, or, or friendly games, it's up to your opponent if they're okay with you just saying, Okay, for the purposes of this match, this guy has a plasma pistol. Because sometimes it's important for your opponent to know what stuff you're using as well.
Has Melody, Project Melody, or Matar Khan assembled Warhammer on stream yet? Does anyone watch them? I know that they've been talking about Warhammer, but I don't know if they've actually, like, done Warhammer. Where's 19? It's a teeny piece. It's like a weird connector. Is that on the other sprue? Nope. The other sprue is the head and the base, mostly. I don't think I'm going to have to look on this one again. At least for a minute. Melody has? Didn't they do a book club? They did do a book book club, but I, I haven't watched it even though I keep saying that I mean to. There's 19. That's the stream Mel's PC died? Her PC died? What happened to it? We have these two gigantic pieces and this? sits in between them? I think this is some kind of neural uplink. Some biological neural capacitor for the fucking thing. For the big beast. How do these go together? Can I... Can I put... Can I put these together without that thing first? Does that make more sense? No, it has to go first. That is really interesting. And by interesting, I mean freaking annoying, bro. This teeny tiny piece that's a sandwich in between these. Fucking hella glue on this bee. Oh well, there's only one way to fucking get it done, and that's to do it. Oh god. Oh god, this is finicky. Oh, you know, maybe if I turn it this way, it'll be easier. And it was. Sometimes it's all about perspective. That's the stream Mel's PC died. What happened to it? How did she... Ooh, this guy clicked together too. And the seam on this one is not bad because the seam on the bottom here is gonna get hidden. Because I think this sits on his back. Or rather, inside of his torso even. Or maybe his pelvis. I don't know. Oh, we have to attach a fucking tentacle? What? That's random. All the other tentacles were sculpted on, but then this specific tentacle doesn't go... What? That's so random. Interesting. You're kind of guy? You're a freak. This thing's like fucking 60 feet tall. This tentacle is not for enjoyment, I don't think. needed to be replaced but it was like midstream death well that sucks computers are interesting this is why this tentacle specifically isn't sculpted on if the other it has a counterpart on the other side of the body and that one was sculpted on I mean I guess if you're looking at it it's this one it's a bit more out than than the others. Interesting. 
now we get the big smokestacks. We love the Tyranid smokestacks. I don't know why Tyranids have, like, fucking biological smokestacks, but they've always looked awesome. They're integral to the Tyranid design philosophy. Big Tyranids get smokestacks. That's just how it is. And it has a topper. Where's the top of this thing? Is it on the other sprue? It is! These ones are on the other sprue. Now I know. And guess what? They're parts 24 and 25. And where are they? Literally right next to each other. Why did they troll me with that fucking dew claw that was on the other side of the sprue and it's the tiniest part in the entire kit? That was so evil. Also, if anyone saw... I think I liked it on Twitter. They showed the new Skaven Clan Rats for Age of Sigmar 4th Edition. Those things are fucking small. That's gonna be a bitch to put together. Those guys are fucking small. Small fucking clan rats. I don't want them to be big. Obviously clan rats should be small. They're clan rats. That's not fitting together the way I want it to. Oh god, I just dropped a teeny tiny part. Oh god. Well. Time to scooch my chair back really carefully. It actually wasn't that small of a part. Head jump scare? Yeah. It's in here. Oh god, is it in the fucking carpet? No! <laughs> no! Surely I'll find it. Sure. Surely I'll. Sure. If it's in this rug, it's gonna take me fucking 10 minutes to find this thing. Fuck! I was being so good about not dropping it. Okay, I am now on the floor. I have a really high ply rug, and it might be impossible to find this. But I also just might not be looking for it in the right place. Maybe it's still on my chair? Maybe? Maybe it didn't fall in the, in the rug. Maybe it's right here. Oh my goodness, we found it. It was right there. Yippee! Oh, thank God. That would have been bad as fuck. The second smallest piece in the whole kit nearly landed in the rug. That shit was gonna be gone. Holy. But it didn't, though. What were we talking about? The Tyranid smokestacks? The Tyranid smoke shows? Not liking the way that fits together. Goo time. What your question your question marking the Tyranid smoke show? Yes? Okay. Oh, it's like a wispy chemical reaction. There we go, that's... Oh, it was almost better. Was better. Am I fucking stupid? Stop fucking breaking the connection. Just let it sit. And primer will help. Smooth that out. Look up a Tyranid Gene Stealer and tell me that's not a smoke show. There's just no way. Absolutely zero way. They steal jeans. They're all wearing that Levi Strauss, you know?
It's funny, it looks like we have a bunch of disparate pieces on the, the table, but very soon, very soon, he's going to suddenly look very complete. It's funny, the way that these things come together all at the end. This isn't taking as long as I thought. It might only take two hours. We were watching it be born. Literally true. Literally true. I think I will use goo once again, because this has a very ugly seam. This guy does have a lot of ugly seams. Nothing I'm not equipped to handle, but also, if I didn't have fucking sprue glue, what am I supposed to do? Just fucking live with all these seams? The answer is yes. But, that feels bad. Okay, well, now these halves connect to the big thing. How? Like this? Like, like this? Oh, like this. Okay, yeah. Go off. Be uh, liberal with your glue. Because this isn't really glue. It's a fucking chemical agent that melts plastic. So make sure that you fucking apply a lot of it. Especially because it's so watery. You can never apply too much as long as you're not flooding all the details. Like, on the joint of, like, two big pieces like this, fucking lather it up, you know? What's today? Monday? How's everyone doing? For Monday. Anyone have epic work? It is Monday, right? Being a time traveling has kind of thrown off my my time at work right now. Tuesday? Shit. Oh wait, oh it's is it Tuesday for you but not for me? I didn't clean this up. Or maybe I did and I just did a bad job. <sighs> Let's go taxes. That's so fun that once a year the entire world collectively gets owned. That's so great for us. I'm so happy for us. As a society. I know this fits. There it is. I just had to find out how. Look at that. We got a whole fucking big old thing. Is it going to focus on something that's not the instruction manual? It's going to try. There it goes. Let's go. Shoulders, huh? Shoulder pads? This bee got shoulders? Bugs with shoulders? What else are they gonna fucking think of? 27 goes on his right shoulder. Remember that, chat. 27 goes on his right shoulder. 26 is the left.
Not too much cleaning up to do on these. <laughs> Ew, I'm hungry. Uh-oh. Your boy's dying. It'll be food time after this, I think. Actually, it might be too late to go get food anywhere. Oh, no. It'll be dying time after this, I think. It's kind of unlucky. Okay, so now here's the problem, alright guys? Here's the problem. I know which one goes on which shoulder, but I've forgotten which is which. Do I miss Konbinis? Absolutely. Konbinis, and I know everyone who's been to Japan or li has lived in Japan or whatever, absolutely would agree, Konbinis might be the best thing in the entire country. Do they go like this? Like, like this? How does this fucking thing go? Oh, oh, we're close. Okay, we figured it out. We figured it out. Like, I know a lot of like fucking people will say, oh man, there's nothing more Japanese than Sakura or Samurai or fucking schoolgirls if you're being a fucking weirdo. No, the most Japanese thing in the entire planet is a fucking konbini that's open 24 hours a day. Make no mistake, those things, those things have the entire country on their back. And that is not an exaggeration. I cannot believe how many there are and how all of them are open 24 hours a day. There are so many. There were times when there'd be a fucking family mart, and then across the street, another family mart, literally parallel across the street, just because the crosswalk is too far down the street. So it's like, oh, well, can't go to that one. We don't want people to have to cross the street to go to their fucking 24 hour convenience. Eternal Famichiki, yeah. Famichiki and all the yummy food from the Family Mart Bakery, like all the pastries that get delivered every day, or the curry pond, or all the snacks, or the giant big gulps of water that are super cheap. Stop focusing on the instruction manual, I, I'll gut you. Thank you. Fuck. Crunky, yeah, crunky. We're almost done. Can you believe it? This is going way faster than I thought. I've assembled other big models like this and it fucking takes forever. I think the longest model assembly I've ever done was the Silent King. The Silent King, it wasn't, I don't know, that thing was fucking crazy, the Silent King. That shit... He was not messing around, Zarek. He he had such a complex model, and had so many small parts. It was also my first like really giant model I had done, so that might have contributed. But the Silent King, that shit took forever. We're putting his legs on. And his arms are mostly one piece, so it'll be uh, pretty quick to uh, to get those on. And his head goes on last, which tends to be a trend. Heads almost always go on last. I swear they design it that way on purpose because it feels um, good to put the head on and have it be done. He needs Jordans. They need to get this boy on the court. He's fucking... Stop focusing on the instruction manual. I'll kill. Am I not skin tone enough for this thing to focus on me? Christ. Every time I take my hands away, it goes, Oh, gotta focus on something else. Hates Matt? I'm fucking oily. I am glossy. Mother... 
fucker. Piece of filth. It's telling me there is a peg in this torso that connects to the peg on his waist. Oh god. Really? That's scary. Oh well, here we go! I didn't really feel it connect there, but it actually isn't that important for it to connect to that peg. That's just so you can get the box art pose. You could easily just snap this peg off of this, this waist and then it would be fine. Oh my god, his chest is coming apart. Oh, I didn't glue this. Bakayaro. I didn't glue this connection point. Do I like Gumpla? I've never assembled a Gumpla, but I know I'd like it. I know I'd like Gumpla, but I already have one hobby like this. There's no reason for me to get into fucking um, Gumpla if I do this. This is even more involved than Gumpla, because I know that a lot of Gumpla don't require glue. Um, you don't have to paint the Gumpla unless you really want to. There's like a fucking peg. Oh! I think I- I think it- I think it made it. Oh, that's fucking bizarre. This doesn't feel... the best. You know what? Gumpla scary? I think Gumpla is less scary than this. Gumpla is mostly push fit. You don't need to do any glue. Gumpla are even more well designed than this thing is. Gumpla are crazy. There's a fucking peg. I know it's in here. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. And now we will let it sit and and set. He stands up by himself. What are we assembling in the meantime? Arms. Cool. That's good. We get to do some sub assemblies of arms. Anybody see the eclipse today? It just kind of got gloomy outside. It, it, this far west, there wasn't much to see. It was just kind of gloomy. You were eeping? Yeah, that's alright. I know some of y'all got some pretty good pictures. There were some pretty cool ones. Saw it on the news? Yeah. I just fucking opened up Twitter. Anything, anything cool that I need to know? Open up Twitter. Anything awful I need to know? Same answer. Live through Twitter, easy. Uh, I mean, yes, but also, it's probably not good to live through Twitter. Probably not good. Just a guess, though. Honestly. Just a guess. Yeah, the West Coast didn't really have any possibility to see it yet. I saw it earlier. I think I know where it is. I think it's on the spur. Oh! Almost knocked him over! Wait. There, no, that's not it. What? I saw this thing earlier. I thought it was on the spur. Oh no. Am I an idiot? No, no, no. I'm not an idiot. Surely not. 
Surely I'm not an idiot. It's right here. I was an idiot. This is the most involved process uh, left, I think, putting these uh, these claws together. Interesting. This is really how these fit. It doesn't feel the best. You can always feel... That's why I don't like to wear gloves when I do this. Not that I think you need to. But you can always feel, just if you have your fucking bare hands on this stuff, if stuff is connecting the right way. Our little graspers have evolved to be able to tell shit like that. Yeah, I subscribe to the theory of evolution. I know, pretty controversial take. That's better, I, I think. Come on. There we go. It's funny, you have the instinct to blow on this like it's hot, or like that'll help. It literally doesn't do anything. Now you'll tell us the earth is round? I got big news for you. That eclipse today was only possible because the earth was both around and the sun is the center of the solar system. Not the Earth. Holy fuck. I know that's hard to believe. I know. But it's true. That's I know that's really scary and really unfortunate, but... I'm glad you know what an eclipse is. Wait, are there people that don't? Wait, what does that mean? I'm scared. What do you mean? I'm glad that you know what an eclipse is. Calm down, Galileo. Based in history pilled. Let's go, Galileo. Imagine having a name like fucking Galileo Galilei. What a fucking goofy ass name for a goofy ass individual. I'm looking for 37. This is 33. Oh, I thought that said this was something else. Now this is 37. Don't know the difference between solar and lunar. Wasn't there a VTuber that was like that once? What's a solar? Isn't that a thing? I think that was Finana, wasn't it? If it's fucking Lazulite, then I'll remember. I was based in Lazulite Pill. It's a shame. <sighs> like this is the claw, so I want to really make sure to scrape out this connection point because weapons and heads that's that's uh what everyone always says to newbies if you're gonna spend a lot of time on something specifically both on cleanup and on painting weapons and heads is almost always the right move because that's the focal points what are those made of it doesn't look like plastic oh it's plastic it's high quality plastic but it, it's plastic i promise I couldn't tell you exactly what type of plastic. I'm not some plastic guy, but um, it is plastic. And we hold them together. They have some models that are made of resin, but it, it, this is not one of them. Most, the vast majority of their models are made out of plastic. 
Is it playground slide plastic or like a milk crate plastic? I would say it's neither. It's both. It's softer than those things so that you can carve at it. It's pretty soft. But also it doesn't like bend. It's not flexible, but it's not super durable. If that makes sense, because that's like the ideal for um, for this for these purposes. Because I would say playground slide plastic is like super thick and super tough. Milk crate. I don't know, milk crate plastic? How would you describe milk crate plastic? Could you carve into a milk crate plastic with a sharp knife easily? Like not like cut it in half, but like carve it, like wood. Yeah? Then maybe it's more like milk crate, I guess. It's definitely not playground slide. Needs a manicure? Him or me? Both, honestly. My nails are fucking ratchet. Too much biting. I bite the shit out of them, and then when they're super ugly, I chop them even again. But then I have to cut them super short, because I just beat the fuck out of them. It used to be a nervous habit, and I'm not even sure if it still is. Now it's just a habit habit. I just do it now. Oh well. It could be worse. Come on. I know this goes in here this specific way. Motherfucker, come on. I, j I literally just dry fitted this and it went in. Oh. There it goes. Dang, we almost have a whole big old bitch. Actually, I think I'm going to put together the other talon arm before I... go any further. Imagine being a space marine and having to fight a bug that's the size of a Tyrannosaurus. And then it has the brain the size of a fucking sedan. And it uses that brain to fucking blast you with lasers. When we have him assembled, you'll see how big his brain is. This guy's been fucking training at the library. You can take it? Oh. Connor needs to take me with him the next time I get a manicure. I don't know how the process works because <clears throat> I've never had one. What can they do with nails that are this short? Obviously, you can trim them up and clean up the cuticles and stuff. But, like, my fucking nails are fucking basically just nail beds. They grow out, but every time they do... I don't know, I think it's a neurotic thing. Like, I... Whenever I feel both my, my fingernails and my toenails... <clears throat> uh, whenever I feel them catch on something, like, especially, like, if I'm, if I'm in bed... And I, like, move my hand on the sheets and they catch... I immediately have to get out of bed and trim them. But I don't really want to pull attention to my fucking tiny ass cut, um, my tiny ass fucking bitten nails. So maybe I won't go and get one. I think someone new moved into our apartment complex because they have a dog that always barks its head off when they have it outside. I swear there was a fucking dog getting attacked yesterday, but it was just the dog going crazy because it saw another dog. Your dog needs to be socialized. It shouldn't do that. Is it a cute dog? I don't even think I've... I don't even think I've seen it. I've only heard it. Like, I literally thought a dog was getting murdered yesterday. It sounded terrible. 
And then I looked outside and there was no commotion. So... It was just a dog fucking going crazy. Because there was no person shouting. It was just a dog sounding like it was getting attacked. But there was no person shouting. So there was... It was fine. Was it the same dog from before you guys left for Japan? Or a different one? This dog, it sounds new. I'd never... We've lived here... Eight months, and I had never, ever heard a dog sound like that until yesterday when I swear a dog was getting killed. It wasn't, but it sounded like it. I mean, you guys know Kai, Tim's dog Kai, who used, who sometimes appears on this live stream. A complex allows pets? Yeah. Kai would also sometimes sound like he's getting attacked, but it's because he, like, fucking screamed at cats. He hated cats. He would fucking scream at them. Like, it's the only way I can describe the sounds he would make. It sounded like a scream and not like a dog. It wasn't a howl. It wasn't a bark. It was like a fucking scream. The loudest motherfucker in the world. If he saw a stray cat, you knew you were about to have a bad time. He would scream at it for 10 full seconds, and then he would stand there and stare at where it was. Fucking freak. Miss Kai. I don't know if I'll see him again. Because I don't... I don't know the next time I'll be in Orlando. He's not super old. He's like probably five or six. But also, he's a mutant and a rescue, so you never really know the lifespan of those kind of things. Because we don't even know his real age. He was estimated one ish when Tim rescued him, but I don't know if, like, we don't know his actual age. For all we know, he's fucking 10. I, I don't know. You, you'd you probably be able to tell. But Shibas tend to age pretty gracefully, so maybe not. Even if he is a mutant. What's the difference between a rescue and an adoption? Is a rescue a problem dog? Like a dog that probably needs a lot more help? Or, or what? They're the same? Interesting. Is one of them just when you want to sound like a virtue singular on Twitter? Makes you feel like a good person. Rescue is you found the dog on the street, adopt a shelter. Think they're the same? I don't know, but they call them like rescue shelters, you know? They're like, oh, this is my rescue. But they got it from a shelter. You know? Motherfucker, this arm. Go in. Go! Bro, what the hell? Oh, is that it? No? What the? The frick? How does this arm go? I feel like it goes right here. But it's not jiving. I think that's it. <sighs> My local n news does features on shelter animals every Sunday. That's fun. If I could afford a dog, I really, I really want one. But also, I think I might be a bad person because I'm not sure if I'd adopt one. Unless I found a really good, like, one that I really jived with, you know? I've had, like, pedigreed fucking purebred dogs my nearly my whole life. And they're, I don't know, they're so good. People fucking turn their nose up at show dogs and pedigree and stuff, but having like a purebred fucking dog from a reputable breeder, and you get him as a puppy, there's just something about that whole experience, you know? But also, I feel so bad for all the dogs in shelters.
This arm doesn't... This doesn't seem right. But I think it is. I think this claw rests right here. Hi, Brandon. Also known as E-Tarts. Also known as... Bitch. I don't know, maybe I'm just spoiled by having pedigreed fucking purebred dogs my whole life. But I have, and I can't help it. That's just how it is. I feel like this isn't going where it's supposed to. Or maybe this arm? I don't know. I don't think these things are supposed to rest on each other this way. Let's fix this. I think this arm... Something... Something's off. Something is off. Doxed again. Sorry. A dog's a dog. Yeah, I think I'm just uh, privileged to have access to like purebreds like that, I guess. Because I know a lot of places don't. But here in America, we got the AKC. This arm is being really a pain in my ass. So it's sprue glue time. Yeah, I just, the thing about a dog, I'm just selfish, I guess. A dog is something that I want to take as little gambling on as possible. Does that make sense? It's already so expensive as it is, I don't want to run the dice of both having a dog that has so many health risks and it dies really early. And it already fucking has the same amount of upkeep as like a fucking breeder dog, you know? This doesn't seem right. There's something there's something off here. This arm is so particular about how it wants to go in. And I feel like maybe this arm isn't... Son of a bitch. These arms... Okay, we're taking all the arms off. Oh, this one's really stuck. He's glued in good. Only had shelter stray animals my whole life, and you say most of them were awful for the first few months until they were properly trained. Yeah. I don't know why this isn't... Why this doesn't seem to be sitting the way it's supposed to. Um, arms and legs that aren't sockets, that aren't ball joints or, f or flush like a space marine. Sometimes they're fucking finicky, because this guy goes on here in a really specific way, and it's really struggling to get there. I think we're holding it like this for the next minute. You love kitties? I've never, my family's never owned cats, not a single one. Not once did we own kitties. I think we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. God, I'm hungry. The only thing that's going to be open after this is fucking Wendy's. Would I have a cat? Depends on the temperament. I'm really, I'm a lot pickier with cats than dogs because I know almost every dog will have a temperament that I'm okay with. But n most cats will have a temperament that I don't like. I just love doggies. Okay, 
so this arm really didn't want to go in. How does it sit? It feels like this is right. Like this. Oh, I see. Oh, I caught on. This is the longest part. Fucking putting these arms on. Paul and Cosmo are pretty chill. Yeah, I would need a really chill cat, and then also a cat. I don't know. Again, I would just. The more like a dog a cat is, the more likely I am to like it. I'm just a dog man. That's just kind of how it is. It's funny. Having this thing on the box art, they always have it at a very specific angle, and obviously you can't turn it around. This thing is so cool. This thing is so cool. We're nearly done. Ragdoll and Maine Coons are more sociable and throw aroundable. Yeah. Look at that. Dang. Oh, oh. Oh, there. Oh, now maybe too low. There he is. Will he focus? Will he focus? It's trying. There it goes. Wow. Big beast. I always like when a mini can stand up by itself like that before you're done. That's always fun. We're almost done. Now we just have to put the head together. And he's got a big cranium on him, let me tell you. And I'm gonna be left with an extra fucking Tyranid head. A big one. Fucking big old Tyranid head. I wasn't sure about his waist. It felt really off, but I think the sprue glue helped. If I didn't have the... The goo, I don't think that would have gone together as nicely as it ended up doing. Guys, does long hair shed more than short hair? Or do I just notice it more because my hair is long? Er. Because I swear, I'm... I'm fucking... I'm shedding like a motherfucker. Long sheds more, long shed more, same shed. Interesting. We're split. We are split. Is that its tongue? Does this thing have a tongue? No. Maybe this is its chin. The other one has a tongue, not this one. Unless, I think this is its tongue. This little triangle bit on the... Oh, nope. I'm still getting used to where the camera's pointing. Yeah, the little triangle bit. Th that's his tongue. That's interesting. He doesn't have a face yet, but he has a tongue. What's he do with it, do you think? Not the drain hair? Um, yeah, no, I mean, I've already started noticing that. It's happening way more than it usually um, did. Um, but I was, my drain is pretty good. It doesn't clog. It's like a, you know, the kind of drains that I hate the ones I know it's the way that it's cause I don't have a tub. I just have a standing shower, but tub drains that you can like screw down so that you can fill the tub in those things. Fucking those get stuck so bad. If I just have like a fucking hole in the floor that has a grate. That thing is so easy to clean. You just fucking scoop and then, and then it's gone. That's it. It can't really clog. It just gets blocked. It's different. Now we have the coolest piece of the entire mini going on. His crest. His big alien queen crest. I say his, but then I was talking about Tyranids being kind of femme. 
But I think minis for me are like boats, where they're always masculine unless proven otherwise. Or boats are always feminine, you know? A boat is always a she, unless you're feeling quirky. But if we're being lore accurate, Tyranids don't have a gender. They don't reproduce sexually. Tyranid birth is much more like fucking a factory than it is animalistic reproduction. Yeah, the coolest piece in the whole fucking thing. His crest. That is part of his brain sticking out. I'd zoom in on it, but I'm lazy right now. So we're just not doing that. How does this go on like this? That looks right. Always dry fit your fucking pieces unless you're wanting to make a mistake that you can't undo without trouble. Always, 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 always dry fit. It costs one second. One second. And you won't mess up your fucking mini if you do it. They are impossible to mess up as long as you dry fit because you will always know to some mistake before you commit. Now we're getting his mouth. His little mouth. Wait, where's his eyes? Are they on there already? Or are they somewhere else? Are they connected to his mouth? I don't know how his eyes go on. That's interesting. Where are they? Kantai can't I collection? Yeah. They are ship girls. Do you ship girls? Maybe. Maybe. <gasps> Man down. What if we shipped girls and we were both boats? Do the boat girls ship girls? I think this goes on here like this. Correct. Just like that. He's barely built and you're giving them the beat down. He's a strong guy. For you. He still doesn't have eyeballs. Are those his eyeballs? No shot, Desu. But I think they are. Okay, it's gonna be impossible to tell. Even if I zoom in on this bitch. Uh, uh, I'll focus it, don't worry. Oh. The little, oh, no. No. Stay in focus. The little knobs on the top of this my, they're under my thumb right now. Oh, but now it's out of camera. They're under my thumb right now. Come on. Come on. Those little knobs at the bottom are his eyes. Stop, you motherfucker. Autofocus being a little bitch. He has his eyes there. Please! It keeps seeing the blue and it goes, oh, yummy, blue. Piece of shit. JK camera, I love you. But his eyes are... That's weird. His eyes have fucking sprue connection points on them. Because they get covered up by the top of his head. That's really interesting, actually. Blue is the best flavor, true? Is it something you paint? What, the eyes? I mean, you paint, you color them, yes, but they, they have to be modeled on there. Well, they don't have to be, but they are modeled on there. I just didn't think they'd be modeled on here the way that they are. Because when this goes on, yeah, when this goes on, it's really obvious that those things were the eyes. That's crazy that those are the eyes. That is not... That is not the way I thought that those would be modeled on. It works just fine. That's crazy, actually, though.
That is crazy, actually. I've never seen them model eyes like that before. They're almost always just sculpted onto the head that's in halves. But this was in halves, but it's sculpted onto the jaw, and then the top of his head put, goes on top. And makes them obviously eyes. You're not going to be able to get it on camera. But... We're done now. His head goes on, and then we assemble the base. Alrighty! Glue time! Uh, actually, it's not glue, it's plastic cement. Die! Everyone calls it glue. The packaging doesn't, but I call it glue, okay? Everyone does. Because guess what you do with it? You glue! Little bitch, go on there. Should just sit in the opening. Okay. It doesn't want to. Well, you know what that means. Goo time. You get gooed. Sprue glue time. Because no one's ever going to see this seam, so you just fucking glob it on there. The sprue glue really um, helps with adhesion. It gives you, it's like adding material on the seam. It, it's like more, it's ironically more like welding with the sprue glue. Alrighty, well, he's uh, done. Is that in frame? Is this in frame? Is this in frame? Can, can I zoom in on him and not have it be bad? He's, it, it, once he's primed, he stops being a big gray blob. But for now, he's a big gray blob that's hard to get the details out. But his, his details really pop once you prime him. When you use Zenithal prime him. Did I zoom out too far? Nope. Base time. We got three steps and then we're done. That's crazy. That's Coco crazy. He's got a cool, big, big old base rock. It's actually like a piece of sheet metal. I think the Lictor had something like that too. They usually like to have stuff stand on rocks and cliffs because that's kind of something that you can put anywhere. But they're having the Tyranids, the new Tyranids, stand on like destroyed metal structures, which is cool. I think that's fun. He got two brains for twice the thinking. I think it's less about... Actually, I guess he has a backup brain in his carapace on his back. He, like, carries one in between his shoulders. He has a really giant brain, and then he has a fucking backup brain for increased neural processing power. So when he shoots you with a fucking psionic lightning bolt, it hurts more. It's interesting that the Tyranids have psionics, but then they, um don't have emotions. So like they're the one psionic race that doesn't contribute to the power of the chaos gods, which is interesting. At least I don't think so anyway. Like why would a bug contribute to the to that? The chaos gods feed on mostly on emotion. Like does corn enjoy bloodshed when it's like a fucking animal killing another animal? Like I don't think so. Corn likes it if it's murder or combat, but Tyranids don't have combat. They just eat food. They just take a bite as it as it was. Don't the Tyranids not have a presence in the warp? I, it's either that or it's the opposite, where they have a gigantic presence in the warp. The Emperor has a big presence in the warp, obviously. Big, big E. The Tau don't? Yeah, the Tau don't have psionics. Except for maybe the Ethereals. Maybe they have psionics. Maybe. How does this go on? Like this, like this, like this, like this. 
Big E, or as the Tyranid players call him, Big Lamp. He's a fucking bug lamp. They're literally invading our galaxy because they can fucking sense... The, they can sense the Emperor in the, in the middle, and they're fucking beelining to the Milky, uh, the Milky Way and beelining to the, the Solar System because they can sense Big E's lamp. The Astronomicon. Oops. Maybe don't be a powerful psionic next time, idiot, so you don't attract these bugs. Is that the theory? I think it might be confirmed, but it's if it is a theory, it's so widely accepted that it might as well be canon. But the they're drawn they're drawn to the power of the Astronomicon, which is why they're all entering like the high fleets move in specific ways towards Sol from the outer rim. But as we talked about another time, they um they don't have FTL travel, so the Emperor is only alive because the Orcs theory. I like that theory too. It's fun, so I'll, I'll so I accept it. That's ten, that tends to be how 40k is. If it's fun, people will just kind of accept it as canon, as long as it's not too ridiculous, which is possible in 40k. You can get too ridiculous, but I don't think that's one of those times. That's plausible given the accepted canon. Alrighty, then we glue his feet onto this bitch and he's done. That's crazy. How does he go on here? One foot, two foot. Cool. That's pretty easy. We'll use sprue glue because that makes stuff like this way easier. Fucking sticking a big old model onto a base. He's really light, lighter than you think he is looking at him because he's super hollow. But yeah, it's just, sprue glue is just your friend for stuff like this. And then we press down on both of his feet and hold him here. Alrighty. He's done. Big old, big old boy. He's, I think he might be slightly smaller than I thought he was gonna be, but that is to say he's still this big. Um, a space marine is about eight feet tall, I think. Roughly. Faster build than I thought? Me too. This thing's probably like 50 or 60 feet tall. But I guess his base is helping us. No, it's not. His, the base doesn't help his height. Because this foot is fully extended. So we know that he's actually this tall. Cool. What parts are we left with? We're left with a whole head that's in two halves. We're left with these weird, um, they're almost like harpoon shooter arms. He has harpoons that he shoots out of his chest that we're left with that honestly could be used for basing. We have two little claws, which also could go on if I wanted them to. We have a piece of carapace. We have a pelvis, another pelvis, interesting. And I think this is the tail for the other one. He has a fucking talon tail instead of this guy's like little thing. Huh. Such a cool model. I really like the pose too. It's just dynamic enough to make him not like a fucking a big mound, you know? He has one foot kind of bent, he's kind of tilted. He's looking in a specific direction. Yeah. And he will sit here on my desk while the glue finishes drying. The assembly for the other one was very much the same. It starts getting different 
when you assemble the arms. The arms, he doesn't have hands like the other one does. Um, he does still have the big claws, though. Though, he doesn't have the little things that come off of him. It's a bit different. Um, like, this guy has, like, extra claws that are coming off of his, like an extra finger or something. The other one doesn't have that. He doesn't have the fingers. There's, like, an extra piece that they take out. His head is different. He has a longer tongue. That's interesting. The base is the same. The other one is looking this way. Like, it's looking the opposite way of this one. So, like, let's say you had two in your army. Their posing is just different enough where it wouldn't be, like, looking at two of the same model. That's fun. I'm not sure if you can run both an Emissary and an Assimilator, though. Wait, Melta? Its brain can shoot Melta blasts? What the fuck? Its brain's fucking crazy. It's got that big old brain. It shoots fucking Melta blasts. And then what you do with all this extra shit? Well, first, screw the caps back on your glue so you don't get brain damage in your sleep. You take the box and you put everything back in there and you squirrel it away for when you never use it. happy with that. He came together pretty quick. He will paint not pretty quick, though. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the skin tone on the Lictor. I kind of want it to be more white than violet or lavender. So maybe with this guy, I'll try to play around and get an actual Tyranid skin tone that I like. Or maybe I'll just go and buy like fucking Wraithbone so I actually have the GW skin tone and then just use my other paints for everything else. Um, it's not that the Lictor looks bad, he's just a bit, his skin's a bit too purple. The Leviathan is supposed to be, like, pale, tan, or bone, and then purple, bright purple carapace, but their skin is supposed to be, like, pale, tan, with, like, a purple accent, like, the their blood underneath makes it look kind of purpley in the recesses and their joints. I don't know, or maybe I'll stick with it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's okay. It, it still reads as Leviathan. Like if I took this to a tournament and said, this is Leviathan, everyone would go, yeah, it is. You know, the thing that's important is the purple carapace and the pink details. Maybe we'll keep it. I don't know. On this scale, I'm not sure if it will work as well on this scale, because he's so big, you really need your contrast to be good, or else it starts to look very samey. He makes even the Lictor look tiny. Huh. Brothers? Maybe. Maybe. Um, next stream, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. Um, or another time entirely. I will probably... I kind of want to assemble more, but I don't know... Is there something under here that's making this lift? It's wanting to lift. But I don't think there's anything under there. Oh, there is. What is this? Oh! I don't need this, but that's interesting. Um, I don't know if I'll, I either want to paint the Stern Guard or assemble some more Tyranids. Because I might get the combat patrol out. Assembly is just so fun. But I know you guys, I, don't, I know you guys don't want to just see me put gray plastic together all the time.
it these these guys especially the little marines do kind of seem like amiibos imagine getting a stern guard fucking veteran visiting your island Um, I do, I think I do want to paint these guys as Imperial Fists, because I do have, is this it? No. Is this it? No. Where is it? It's somewhere. I have the, um, just fucking drop something. I do have the Imperial Fist contrast paint. Now I have to find it or else I'm going to get mad. Is this it? There it is. Again. Imperial Fist. Some of the best yellow paint ever made by everyone who says it. Everyone says that. It, it just is. This thing goes on over white, like in one coat. Which is insane for yellow. And Imperial Fists are yellow. Remember you saying the bottle isn't designed well? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Horace thinks for gifting wooden deer. Uh, as we're wrapping up, everybody, remember remember that if you're a subscriber, new or old, you get access to the subscriber-only Discord that you can join if you connect your subscribe Twitch account to your Discord account in the connection settings of Discord. There's the, there's the thing, yep. So if you're a new sub or you are re-upped and have never joined... It, you can go in there. Also, yup, there's a throne that I have, that I have some minis on. It's not super full, because I don't want to cram it in there, but, yup. Yup. Thanks, everybody, for coming to stream. Uh, I would say it's short, but it wasn't really. It was an acute little length, just over two hours. Um, we got the Norn Emissary assimilated. Assembled. Uh, I'm thinking of another A word, and I can't. Just came back. Unlucky. Looks like you're VOD gang now. Um. Oh, that's a Luke. Oh. You know, that should make sense. I guess they... Yeah. It didn't click. Okay. Um. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Malcantis, thanks for enjoying it on your lunch break. Uh, now I have to slowly back my chair up so that I don't knock the camera over and kill my setup. Uh, we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go to, uh, th this, this screen, this screen now, this one. Uh, bye. Bye.